it is 2021 yo that means it is time for some new star wars lego kits starting off with this guy right here kit number 75300 which is the imperial tie fighter comes with an 8 plus rating on here 432 pieces and it carries that 8 plus rating not only uh, because it's a mildly tiny kit to put together but it also has some firing pieces that we're going to look at it comes with three minifigs including a stormtrooper a tie fighter and the nil8 droid the kit comes with three bags for those 400 and some pieces. The first part is going to build the center body there, and you can see on the front left. And the second bag is going to build one of the wings, as you can see there in the front right. Each of those comes with one of the uh, minifigs, so each bag has their own minifig inside. Three minifigs total, three bags. Uh, pretty easy to get through. I will say, as we kind of go through this build process, it did get a little repetitive. I mean, not only do you have two wings that are identical, but each of those wings has uh, the top and bottom of it, which are also the same. So it did get a little repetitive building it, but otherwise it was a solid build. The middle was definitely my favorite piece to put together. Just a lot of little details and some cool structures in here. Um, putting everything together is just a really fun part as well. So you, of course, have the two wings separately, which clip right on to the center body of the TIE Fighter. Everything just snaps together very nicely and gives you a pretty solid build. This thing is a fairly tall build as well. Not one of the smallest, not one of the largest, but a really good size. It's a very standout piece and it gives itself some height thanks to those large wings on either side. Now, as you are holding this, so the edges of each of those wings, it's kind of hard to see here, but they're clipped onto the top and the bottom, which makes the middle not really connected. So as you're kind of holding some of the wings, it can those can slide around a little bit, which makes it a little awkward to hold at times um, but otherwise I really like it the other thing you have to watch out for is accidentally inadvertently firing those uh, rockets there in the center we're gonna look at more of those laser blasters in just a moment but just admiring this the detail work a lot of the printed pieces you have those circles on either side as well as the front cockpit there uh, covering the pilot that can fit inside and you have the top and the back that also have printed pieces on them that are gonna be exclusive to some of these kits and not your standard run-of-the-mill uh, Lego pieces Doing a nice slow build, I would say this took about an hour and a half to put together. Not anything too long, but it left me keep you occupied for a little bit. As far as the minifigs that come with, taking a closer look, we have of course the Stormtrooper. There's printed back as well as the printed legs. It does have a longer blaster rifle, which is known to the Stormtroopers, and I always love these Stormtrooper helmets. They're just so intricate with the colors and the molding and everything. Very cool. Then we have the Imperial TIE Fighter Pilot, very similar as well, has a full-on helmet there, which is molded and printed on with some metallic silver uh, glow to it. You can see it's got the very stark, angry-looking face for that TIE Pilot, TIE Fighter Pilot. It has a shorter blaster, more of a pistol rather than the longer rifle that you would see with the Stormtroopers. And then finally, the last guy we have is the protocol droid, the assassin droid NIL-8. I believe this is exclusive to the set. I'm not 100% on that, but I don't think I've seen this before. Now, in the Star Wars universe, this is going to be a black droid, humanoid droid, but he has like a matte finish on him. They do stick with reflective here just to make him stand out a little bit, but otherwise, just a very simple droid there. Ours came with three laser blasts here, so those can be inserted into the front of the ship and then fired. So perfect for some playtime action there. It is really cool, though, especially with the fragility of the wings and the ability to really knock these out from the back. It makes it a little bit awkward to hold so you don't actually fire these uh, at yourself or someone else. They do get inserted right there into the front. There's a little notch that goes upwards, so that little stick has to go facing upwards to allow them to slide in. They only go in that one way. Then just a tiny, light little tap right there on the back, just right there, and boom, tap it. It'll go ahead and fire. It'll easily get across the room. I can take out a stormtrooper from across the desk without any issue whatsoever. Definitely going into that playtime action here, the cockpit does open up, so there are a couple little manual controls that can slide forward, throw in an ILA or the TIE Fighter Pilot, probably more apt, but you can go ahead and close off the control, pull up the front of the cockpit, he can sit right inside and fly this thing around. It's a very nice little touch that you can fit someone in the cockpit and have that opaque glass there on the front, well, plastic, but to see through to see someone driving the ship inside. Now, while the Imperial TIE Fighter is a pretty awesome set to have on its own, it definitely gets paired very nicely with another brand new set that was just released, which is, of course, Luke's X-Wing. So Luke Skywalker's X-Wing, which comes with Luke, Leia, uh, fighter pilot, R2-D2, uh, slightly higher 
piece count high, slightly with higher age limit, but these two are perfect sets together. The uh, X-Wing also fires, so definitely awesome to have both of these at the same time. Grab yours down at the links below.